two. Hey, got, you know, segment two. I was just thinking about, I got to write something. You know, I got to write stuff down, man. I'm sorry. Okay, I want to talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Well, segment two and segment one is all about events and shout outs. And, but, you know, I, I want to do a special, couple special shout outs yes. today. We, um, we, we have a, a fact. Uh, this is an uh, this is a former hashtag one lucky gal. She came on and hosted the show one week. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna go find that video and post it today. Oh, good. Uh, and uh, we want to do a huge shout out to uh, Deb Schaefer of Halo. Yep. Um, she just had a major operation and she came through it okay, and, and she's back home. And I'm telling you, we, you know, she's very transparent, very open. The whole process has been out there for everybody to see. And I was just amazed leading up to this August 2nd. We all knew it was August 2nd uh, operation. How, how she just carried herself through the whole process, especially the 30 days before. I, I mean, I was just amazed. Deb is an amazing human being. She oh. is the mother of many. A many. She's the mother of many. Um, wonderful marriage, wonderful husband. Um, really has been serving the business community and serving our community for years. Um, Halo is the go-to place for your marketing and promotion items, but when it comes down to it, you know, we spend so much time building our wealth and, and, and having a good time and all the rest of it. And you realize when something happens with your health, there is nothing else that's more important. And she had a bout that she was dealing with breast cancer right. about a year ago. And it came back. Mm -hmm. She just had her surgery yesterday. And we are all pulling for her, loving her, sending her a lot of love and support. Um, but I did really love watching the last month because she does share a lot. And she right. has just been grabbing life by the grapes right. and just you know living it up and 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 vacationing and spending time with her family and we we hope that she is just resting comfortably at home right now right. And, and all the healing energy and love goes out to her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's from danny vegas baby so uh deb we're we're waiting for once you get back on your feet and you're at uh, uh cruising speed we're gonna have you back on the show that'd be great that would be great yeah, so absolutely. all right we also want to do another shout out now uh, my buddy rich shaw from DNR Diamonds. Yep. Uh, he's had a, a couple health issues. Uh, one that really scared us about oh two gosh, months ago. Oh my about? You know, really scared us. And now he's kind of back. I guess he's back in the hospital. But I get the word that things are looking pretty good. And uh, it's not as serious as the last time. Yep. And so he's uh, healing up and he's rich, man. Hey, I, I need you on this show, dude. I've been trying to get you on the show for like ever. And you always just end up in the hospital instead. What's the story? I so. know you got you got Dave, which yeah, is uh, you know. to me. I, I, I love, love I love both of the guys right. from D and R House of Diamonds. But so. our love our love and support goes out to you, Rich, as right. well. Again, health. It, you just there's nothing more important. Okay, so uh, you two are our special shout outs of the day. Yeah. Okay, let's get into it. Let's go back in time. Okay. Let's go back in time. Like a week. Uh, is it a week? A week. We had an event at Who Songs. Great event. I think we had about 125, nice. 150 people there. Packed it. For the Packed space. it. Mm -hmm. Danny Vegas time. Danny Vegas world. I guarantee you will always meet someone new at my events because there are people that come that have been coming for years and there's people that's like, oh, this is the first time I've ever been here. And 99% so, of the time you'll be glad for who you met. Yes. But there's that one time. Well, I guess kind of Yeah, let's cuz you know, your you're mind. more in tune to all this, you know. I'm just hosting and shaking hands and kissing cheeks and talking and all this stuff, you know, giving out drink tickets. I'm the most popular cat in the whole event, right? You are. But I guess there was a gal there that was either the event population at this particular event was not at, in her mind, the economic level that she needs for her business. So instead of just like, okay, that's cool, let's see what I can meet and have a good time, she was kind of throwing, she was kind of throwing some poison? She was throwing a little poison, a lot oh. of poison in the room, which, here, oh. here, okay, so here's, here's the deal. Up my button. Here's this is what getting I think. serious now. So I'm, I'm, I, coming back from California on Tuesday, right. and I'm specifically coming back because I need to be at your event kind of co-opted it with one lucky gal and right. you know being your marketing bff right um so i feel like it's my event too got back from california hustled back seven o'clock announcements are starting this lovely lady out of the drawing 
won a prize. Won a prize. And so I met her briefly. And then as I'm hanging out with another client of mine and one mm -hmm. of our show guests, uh, Victoria and Emil Richester whoop, whoop, whoop. of Club Pilates. I love her. All right, so franchise owners of three Club Pilates in town, right? They're good people you'd want to meet at the networking event. Right. With them, we had a um, we had a gal that um, is in the uh, plant industry, um, florals um, with, uh, she does Bellagio. Right. Um, all, you know, serious lady. Right. We got another interior designer, right? So right. in the home industry. So this gal comes walking over. Yes. And everybody's kind of, you know, welcoming her, mm -hmm. being nice, chit chatting. She announced to everyone that, well, I won't even. Should I say what she does? I can say what she does. We won't do anything else. She's a landscape architect, right? A landscape architect. So a landscape architect, architect yeah. which seems that that would be a great connection to meet with a with a great interior designer, certainly someone that's doing indoor plants for um, for high-end homes, right. um, for uh, commercial uh, properties, from offices all the way up to the Bellagio. That'd be a good connection for a landscape would, architect, would, right? I would think so. If you meet a franchisee owner of a very popular, um, fastest growing, most successful Pilates uh, franchise in town, they might have a house that mm -hmm. you might be able to landscape, right? right? So that's just in that little right. thing right there. Or the owner of Las Vegas Woman's Magazine. <sighs> There's is that there. too. Yes. There's that too. So, so there's a ton of people in the room. And you cannot, I, I have to stress, you cannot judge a book by its cover when you walk into a networking room. Because you never know who's there. And more importantly, you never know who is in there that knows someone else that you want to get to. And That's you want right. to make a good impression with. Right. So the landscape architect announced to everyone that this is not her speed of event. That she goes to higher level events than this. Mm. So she's not interested in passing out her business card. She's not interested in anybody else's business card. Because we're too low brow for her. Mm, looking down her nose, old Danny Vegas. Now, with me uh, meeting me, about that. now meeting me, my mm -hmm. my clients, most mm -hmm. of my clients are are in medical mm -hmm. and legal mm -hmm. and nonprofit. Mm -hmm. they, they, they can afford that landscape architect. Right? They can afford that. I'm a good person for a landscape architect. You're a good to person know. to know. So, so bottom line, you, you, she made a really just tragically sad error, which is, you know. Don't 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 insult an entire room full of people because it's never going to make you look good. It's never going to make a good impression, and it's just tragic and unfortunate. Right now, what I'm hoping is, you know, it's a new situation. You walk into a new situation. Sometimes our our personality when we're under stress, mm -hmm. when we're feeling uncomfortable, sometimes a personality trait comes out that's always not necessarily our best one. Right. So right. that's what I'm hoping happened with this lady. She said she came there to support her friend. Right. Who was a realtor. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, this poor realtor, because, you know, you bring your wing woman and she's just basically like, mm, <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> to I, the room. those wing women's always just kill the deal. Not a way to support. So, yeah. So that's that's what happened at, at the event. And I threw it out on social media because I just thought, well, am I am I am I crazy? Here's a woman that's been in business for, uh, I'm assuming, probably about 30 years easily mm -hmm. in Las Vegas looking at her business card she had a couple of um, educational um, uh, acclamations on her business card right. so education was important to her she had on her business card a formerly former affiliation with a local um, horticulture nonprofit right right so nonprofit industry is good for her had a telephone number no website no social media probably a little behind the times and how you gather customers but it's 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 interesting it was an interesting sad display well, of, of what not to do when you're out networking I know you threw a little something something out on social media and oh my goodness gracious the comment People train went, went for days it did they went crazy that, I, yeah I, there were there were probably about a hundred comments of people just in shock wondering why the heck would someone do that well yeah. what's amazing is I had no idea you know I just I'm just clueless I just I'm just around my event giving high fives and hugs and stuff and uh, I don't know no one no. so a networking tip networking when you, tip when 101 you, when you walk into a room because we've all walked into that room right. where we think oh my gosh it's nothing but you know wannabes and entrepreneurs yeah entrepreneurs and and part-timers or you know they, they're in there to, 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 to get sloshed and, and mingle rather right. than do business and you get frustrated always go into that room looking to serve looking to make that other person feel comfortable, mm -hmm. looking to, you know, just let your personality shine and, and 
because you yeah. never know. You never know who you're going to meet. That's right. You can never make assumptions for who's in that room. You cannot judge a book by the cover because the only thing that's going to happen while you're throwing poison on everybody else is just it's going to just it's going to toxify the environment in the room yeah. from you. So. That's bad for your brand. Yeah. Okay. Shame on. Segment three. Well, thank you very much. That's a great tip. Segment three coming right up right after this. And then in segment four, hoo, 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 Jerry Zimmer, Focus Blumen. I'll Yay. be back.